So I'm gonna tell you guys kind of the process as well of how I guess it happened because it's not just like call and being like, hey, I want a surgery. And they're like, okay, you can do it for this day. You know, it doesn't work like that. So first person I called, they were like, okay, um, send us like your info or whatever so we can like reach out to you. So I sent them my info and I went ahead and filled out like their like medical questionnaire. And I sent in pictures of myself. And so then after that, they sent me a list of the prices and they said a person would be reaching out to me. So a person reached out to me she was super sweet i don't remember her name i think it was lacy maybe but she was really really sweet and i told her you know want to go with this doctor um what are your what about her prices for miami because i was like if it's going to be a lot cheaper in miami then i'll do miami but it winded up being um it was going to be cheaper but i would have to pay flight i would have to pay hotel like it was just going to be an issue and i'd have to travel by myself so i was like whatever we'll just do here in atlanta and pay a little more it just makes sense right and then my husband can kind of take care of me as well. So after I told her what doctor I wanted, she was like, okay, um, you just need to send the deposit to lock in the price. And I was like, okay, well that happened on like a Wednesday and I tried reaching out to her on Friday, like that same Friday and I couldn't get a hold of her, emailed her, couldn't get a hold of her. And then Monday they finally called me back and I was like, hey, I've been trying to call you since Friday. I do want to go ahead and lock in the price with Dr. Prendergast and a date as soon as possible. And she was like, well, her prices have gone up. But since you have been trying to contact us since Friday, we're going to go ahead and honor it. And I was like, oh, my gosh, thank you so much. So I went ahead and paid the, de the deposit, which was like, I think, like four or something. And unfortunately, even though I was going to pay in full, so I was going to pay in full but use my husband's credit card. And they will give you a discount, a $500 discount if you pay in full using cash or debit card but since i used his credit card it didn't count and then i even asked her like what if i pay half cash and then the other half on his card and like to me like you're still paying in full regardless like they're getting their money you know but whatever i didn't qualify for the 500 off which kind of sucked but whatever and then whenever i told my husband he was like i mean it really doesn't matter like you're not gonna go the bank and deal with all of that so I was like okay fine whatever and I really just wanted to lock in my price like ASAP because I saved up half of the money by myself over half of the money I saved up by myself and so at first he was like I mean it's a lot of money are you even gonna have enough to do it and then once he saw that I was like serious about it then he was like all right let's go ahead and do it because once I came to him with the prices and everything that was on so Wednesdays whenever she contacted me with the prices and then Thursday we had a talk and everything and I was like well this is not how much I have saved up and he was like oh dang like she saved that up real quick like he didn't think I was gonna be doing it until next year and so he was like okay I mean go ahead and do it and also like we're like pretty much in quarantine still so I might as well just recover you know so anyway sorry got off track so then um sh after i told her you know go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and pay the deposit she sent me like this thing just to prove that it was him because i used his card just to prove that it was him and she sent me the contract and i went ahead and signed them and i printed them out i have them at home just in case because sometimes these places be trifling so i have that and it also has a breakdown of the prices and then what happened after that oh yeah and then after that they said somebody would be reaching out to me 60 days before so like december 10th in order to give me my lab orders and everything so that i can get my lab work done and then a doctor has to give you medical clearance for surgery so that happened this week today is the 15th i actually went today to get my lab work and everything done and oh my gosh that's the part that sucks too because that's out of pocket like you don't go through mia to do that so whenever I had originally called my PCP, I was like, hey, I need to get medical clearance for surgery and I need to get labs done. How much is it gonna be? And they were like, oh, well, it's gonna be at most like 220, at least 190. And I was like, okay, that's fine. Tell me why when I went to pay, they were like 315. I was like, oh, what the fuck? But I couldn't do anything because they had already done everything. So I was like, I was like, okay. And so I just like, paid or whatever so that's out of pocket as well you don't do that through do that through mia they said that in the email like they sent me they said that you can go to just urgent care 
and then you can also just get the lab work done at like this place called quest or something and i guess they have them like all over the u.s <sighs> so anyways lab work is done i go next week to get the results and she's gonna fill out the paperwork with me for the medical clearance because she said like just in case she wants me to like be with her to make sure that she's doing it right and then after that so you have 60 days right that's 60 days before surgery so december 10th is whenever like i got the labs and everything you have up to 45 days before to turn those in just in case like you need to go get labs done again or whatever they give you like that little margin of error time so you can go back and get labs done if you need to get them redone or whatever or you can like take vitamins or whatever you need right so hopefully everything will come back because i don't want to pay again <laughs> so the next step now i guess is just waiting until yeah until i get my labs done well until i get my lab results and then we're gonna send that in and see what me aesthetic says about it um i guess if you guys have any more questions just let me know but i am super excited i am super nervous and i'm trying to like i'm literally trying my hardest to lose weight right now because okay say you look like this right like this is your body and then they give you a lipo and you're gonna go like this but say you're like you lose weight before and you're like this and then they do lipo and you're like this that's what i want i don't know if that makes sense but that's what i want like, I know my results are going to be so amazing, but if I lost weight, they'd be even more amazing. And the biggest reason why I wanted, why I want to do this surgery is because I have hip dips. Like, I mean, it's like straight hip dips. Like, it's, I hate them. And I've always been really self-conscious about them. Even if I lose weight, even if I work out and everything, I just can't get rid of them. And speaking of, like, working out and stuff, I have been working out consistently for over a month. Um, I was watching when I was eating pretty strictly, but then last week I kind of like fell off the wagon for a little while and it wasn't crazy. Like wasn't binge eating anymore. I am trying to have a healthy relationship with food, um, for my sake. Like I don't care about it. And, like you do, do whatever you want, but, um, I just have been trying to do better and make better choices. But also if I want a piece of pizza, I'm going to eat a piece of pizza. Whereas before I would be like, I want pizza and I'd eat half a pizza it's like okay just like one piece of pizza and i was taking the fentramine as well you have to stop taking fentramine 30 days before your surgery and i was gonna start it again this month but we're already at half the month and so i don't think it's worth it to pay for them because they are like a hundred dollars so that's like another like added cost to me it would be so i'm just gonna try without but i was taking them um for october and half of november sorry anyways what else 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 so yeah I've been working out like crazy I have started today again watching what I'm eating making sure that I'm drinking a gallon of water because I realized that I just feel better whenever I do and like eating wise since I was eating semi-healthy I was limiting more than anything fast food I was limiting french fries like greasy stuff and so whenever I would eat that stuff, like I would feel like crap, like my belly would just hurt, like it would just feel like heavier and I would just get like pains and stuff. So I also feel like this is just better for me. I actually cut soda out like over a year ago and now just taking a sip of it, like literally like burns my throat. So that I think is the best decision that I've made. Usually um, for the most part, I just drink water. I will drink like uh, my coffee protein. Well, it's like a I would drink my protein drink which is coffee flavored with a cup of coffee mixed together like iced like with ice um, because I love iced coffee but the protein shake is only a hundred and something calories so I just have that usually for breakfast or for lunch if I have a break like a big breakfast big ish breakfast then I'll just have that for lunch today I had a salad for lunch and I don't know what else to tell you guys but yeah I'm trying to lose weight before the surgery which is February 10th. I don't know if I said that already, but if I did, I'm sorry. I'm just going to go ahead and say it again. And the question that I get asked the most is where I'm going. Like, even though I constantly tell people I'm going to me aesthetics in Atlanta, people still like, they just don't pay attention to the comments, I guess. I don't know, but that's where I'm going. So yeah, now it's just a waiting game, I guess. And I've made a list of all the things that I need to buy for aftercare like i'm gonna buy i'll show you guys the list i think later on but for now preliminary this is for me as well um 
I'm gonna get like a shower curtain to put on top of the bed and I haven't decided if I'm gonna sleep on my bed we also have like an air mattress but it's like a queen and it's like literally like a bed bed like it's not one of those like chafa ones where you sleep on it goes all the way down to the ground no it's like really comfortable actually and I'm gonna put like a mattress pad on it to make it more comfortable and then I'll put the shower curtain if I decide to sleep on the air mattress or Angel and the baby are gonna sleep on the air mattress so I need to get the curtain thing. I need to get my stage two faha. But I was talking to my mother-in-law and we're going to see if we can find somebody like here in Atlanta that can fit me afterwards. Because I think you have to wear your stage one for like two or three weeks. So I need to find somebody afterwards. Because right now if they fit me, they're going to be like, they're going to fit me in a huge one, you know. And so it just doesn't make sense to go right now. And I also need to find a place to do my post-lymphatic massages. So if anybody knows of anybody that does them here in Atlanta... Um, please reach out to me and let me know what else. Oh yeah, I'm going to buy the Arnica tablets. Somebody said those are pretty good. I need to order them from Amazon. The Arnica cream. Somebody else said like a CBD lotion or something is very helpful. Um, what else? Oh, compression socks for sure. I'm going to buy a few robes just so I can like just be in the robe because the Faja, like it is going to be in, in February. So it's going to be kind of cold. <laughs> Excuse me. What else is on my list? I said compression socks, right? I can't think of anything else right now. But yeah, for the most part, that's that's it. So I guess if like you want to know anything else, just post questions down below. And then I will try to do a Q&A closer to the date. But I feel like I've already kind of answered everybody's questions already. Um, but they're like super nice at me aesthetics. They get back to me pretty much on time, except for that one girl. But also I understand because I'm sure a lot of people are like, hey... I want to get the surgery done how much is it and then they just don't have a response so I understand that as well whereas everybody that I've talked to since like the people that called me to do my labs and everything they were super helpful like I call like they answer right away like it's like I've had a good experience with them I guess we'll see closer to the date what happens what does suck the most is like my husband's gonna have to wait for me he can't go in there with me but it is what it is because you know of COVID and everything but whatever but yeah I'm excited so I guess that's it um the, I know this video has kind of been all over the place there's a lot of information and I was gonna like write everything out and be like okay this this and this and like sub notes and stuff but this is everything just in one I don't think I forgot anything so yeah hope you guys have a good day and hopefully it won't take me half a year to make another video